<laughs> All right, let's talk about some of my bread and butter bolos if I can stop laughing. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I'm sorry, but I can't take it. So I'm cracking up right now. So I first decided to wear my out earrings tonight. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to put on this cool necklace because I sold one of these on my whatnot show the other night. And it's one of those that you can like, it's, I call it my fidget necklace and I sold one and then I found another one and they're the coolest things because you can just fidget with them and move them all around. I'll show you, I'll try to remember to show you at the end of the video because it's just rad. Um, but you can just do whatever you want with it. And my friend's like, you should put an owl brooch on your hat. And I'm like, I'm already wearing owl earrings. And she's like, you should do it. So here you go. <laughs> I'm out, out, everybody. I'm out, out tonight. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some of my bread and butter bolos if I can stop laughing. Seriously, like, <laughs> I can't take it. Um, what is a bread and butter bolo? It is an item to be on the lookout for that you can sell for a profit. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. And you guys, I'm like looking at myself at the camera and I just can't quit laughing. <laughs> I mean, are you having the same reaction? I mean, it's just a little much, right? <laughs> There's just too much going on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's look at these bolos. Hopefully you didn't leave. Are you still here? If you're still here, say I'm still here down in the comments. Okay, you guys, so I'm a full-time reseller if you're new here. Um, I like to sell stuff. <laughs> wow, this video is... Ooh, okay, hold on. I forgot to set up my thing. Now you have to wait even longer. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about my first bread and butter bolo. And one thing you'll learn from me is that I typically pick things up pretty cheap. So the first item is this Fawn's Porter Triangle Trimmers, uh, red and blue. It's some sort of quilting thing. I had two of these, so I did a multi-quantity listing. I sold one a while back, and then this one just recently sold uh, for $9.30. The buyer was all in for $14.55. And I got that at an estate sale with just a bunch of crafter stuff. The next item is this Mary Maxim Exclusive Musical Village Christmas in Needlework. And this is what it looks like. And it tells the kit number right there. So I put that in my title. I got this at a thrift store for $3 and I sold it for $24.80 plus shipping. The next item is this Disney store plush dog Lady and the Tramp stuffed animal. And I sold this for $21.70 plus shipping. And this was purchased by Pinky's Secondhand Store. She is a viewer of the channel and super, super supportive always picking things up in my store. Super nice of her. Thank you so much. And this is her store. She has awesome stuff. So you guys go and give her a follow. Um, you can follow stores by clicking on the heart. If you guys aren't doing that, I highly recommend it because when they send out coupons, you will get a coupon. But look at these blow molds. Halloween's coming up. Anybody uh, collect blow molds? Because I've never seen that one. All right, you guys, let's go on to the next one. This one is a Rescue Bots Bulldozer Transformers by Hasbro Tommy or Toomey. Is it Tommy or Toomey? I think it's Toomey. And I got this at, oh, the dog, the dog. I got this at the Benz, the Goodwill Benz. Okay, the Transformer came from a garage sale. I paid 50 cents for it and I sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. This is a Carter's blanket. And I talked about this in one of my other videos. <laughs> I actually sold it twice. And the second or the first time I sold it, I got the return. And I, the thing is about returns, if somebody gets something and they just don't like it and they return it, they're responsible for all the shipping fees. So by the time they paid shipping both ways, their refund wasn't very much, but they still returned it and that's okay. So I relisted it as soon as I got the notification that hit, it had been delivered to my P.O. box. I relisted it, which was probably not the brightest idea because I could have gotten it home and it could have been damaged or or it could have sold while it was still at the P.O. box, which is what happened. So I had to 
make a trip to the post office to pick up the item so that I could reship it. So I guess a fast sale is a good sale, right? But I sold it again for $9.30 plus shipping. And it sold in like, I don't know, a day or two after listing. It was crazy. The next item is this vintage Eagle pencil case. I picked this up at a garage sale. There were a whole bunch of these pencil cases. I just left in them what was in, in them. This one had vintage crayons. So that's what they got with it. Vintage crayons. I paid $1.50 for this and I sold it for a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, Fisher Price Dream Dollhouse Pink Oval Window Replacement Parts. And I think there's four or six on each house. So I put these in lots of two and I sold these for a best offer of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. And I picked that up at a garage sale. This book, I don't even remember where I got this. Um, I just don't know. I It's been listed a while. It was a very long tail. It's the Human Body Books and Viewable Fact Cards Reader's Digest Discover Nature. Sold it for $22, best offer plus shipping. I may have just had it priced too high. This is a vintage 1990 Dakin musical Panda Bear plush stuffed animal baby pull toy. Got it at a garage sale for a quarter and I sold that for $26 plus shipping. So you pull the string and then it shrinks up and plays music. The next item is this retired Boyd's Bear and Friends. This took a long, 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 long time to sell. Um, I bought a, out a garage sale, bought a whole bunch of Boyd's Bears. Many of them sold very quickly, but some of them have been very long tail, but they, they will eventually sell. I don't have many left. Sold this for $18 plus shipping and probably had about a buck or two in it. Hallmark Itty Bitties. If you ever see these Itty Bitties, um, I like to pick these up. You can usually pick them up pretty cheap. I got these at the Goodwill bin, so less than a dollar in these. I put these two together. It's a construction man and Joseph from the Bible, and I sold these for $10 plus shipping. The next item is this Nickelodeon Paw Patrol Robo Dog Rescuer racer. It's by Spin Master. Robo Dog is a little bit harder to find, so if you see him, he has a tendency to move a little quicker than some of the other dogs. Uh, got it at the bins, sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. The Goodwill bins is where you go and you dig through the bins and you pay by pound. And I have videos of me digging through the bins if you guys want to check those out. This took forever to sell. Can't even tell you where I got it. I'm shocked it sold. I actually forgot about it and I'm like, oh, wow, that sold. Uh, it's a gaming memory cards, Pelican, GameStop, GameStop, GameCube, GameCube, untested. I, I mean, my title's awful. I don't even know what this stuff is. It's dirty. It's weird. Um, I don't know where I got it. Uh, probably came with like a gaming system. I don't know. But it sold. It sold to somebody who sells gaming stuff. So maybe it's better. I, I don't know what it does. If anybody knows, let me know. Uh, sold it for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Jazz Wears Laura Ashley Room by Room dollhouse. This is a teenager figure. And then I've got the mom figure here and the person bought both of these. I paid a dollar 50 cents each. So a dollar total sold them for $20 plus shipping. So 10 each hero clicks lot of seven hush vision mall katana destroyer. I, I, the names were on them, I think, cause I don't know those names, but anyway, I got these at a, I think the goodwill for a buck. And I sold these for 26 plus shipping. This is a vintage Italy nativity manger figurine replacement sheep. I got this at the Goodwill bins. I cannot believe it made it, but it did. I sold this for $12 plus shipping. 1999 Barbie golden allure special edition doll with stand never removed from box NRFB. That's what that means. And I got this at a garage sale for $3, sold it for a best offer of 14 plus shipping. These are vintage Sanford's Mr. Sketch fragrance instant watercolors. These are vintage. So I went ahead and showed on a piece of paper how they looked when you use them. That way people knew that they still worked and were not dried out. Ended up selling these for a best offer of 30 plus shipping and I paid a dollar at a garage sale. Blues Clues and You Mail Time Replacement Mail Envelopes for Talking Mailbox. I got these at the Goodwill bins and I sold them for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This guy is a vintage rubber squeak toy banana with face and it works. 
I got it at an estate sale. I don't remember what I paid for it. Probably not much. Sold it for $15 plus shipping. This next item is a fluff and stuff rusty puppy dog plush yellow lab stuffed animal toy. I got this free from a viewer. She reached out to me, said she had a whole bunch of plush that she wanted to give me if I would come and get it. So I went to get it. Um, I have a whole video series. Those are kind of mixed into my vlog style videos a few months back. So this was free to me and I sold it for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. And I will link her eBay store down in the description. So check her out. She sells a lot of jewelry. The next item is this Soldier Fortune Black Ops Fire Hall Y All Monster Jam Monster Truck Lot. It's two trucks. I got these at the Goodwill Bins and I sold them for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. All right, you guys, I have finally calmed down. I'm not laughing hysterically at myself anymore. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I was going to show you this necklace. Okay, so look how cool this is. I just call it a fidget because I feel like it's something that... Um, I would want to like fidget with, you know, I don't know what it's really called. Have you guys ever seen one of these? But it is just, oh, it's so fun. <laughs> I was having fun with one of these on my whatnot show the other night and then I sold it and I found this one and I'm like, I'm going to wear it and I'm going to tell everybody how cool it is, like how cool it is. So I'm probably going to bring this to whatnot also. I just, I have no idea what it's made of. I don't know. See how it just like, I mean, it is so fun to play with. I could entertain myself all day. But anyway, you can like twist it. And I mean, this one's really big. Look. And you could make some really cool necklaces out of it. I mean, you could maybe make a flower. Do you think we could make a flower? That would be kind of cool if we could somehow make a flower. I'm not that crafty. <laughs> There's my flower. <laughs> All right, you guys. So if you want to come bid on this necklace, I'm going to be selling it over on Whatnot if I decide not to keep it. Um, my Whatnot is down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join with my referral link down there. And you can come buy from me if you want. Or you can just come hang out and watch. You never have to buy. Never any pressure to buy. Um, my bundles show. I'm going to be doing those two times a month. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to keep up with that. That's where I list bundles. So uh, things styled by Bola Buddies, things that look cute together. Uh, maybe you'll get a brooch that you can wear on your hat. <laughs> I, I kind of like it. I might do it in another video tonight. I'm going to do a couple of videos tonight. So we're going to have some fun. See, I can't, I can't just, I just can't. If it's in my hand, I'm like moving it around. It's so fun. It's got to be called a fidget necklace. Does anybody know what this is? Seriously. I think it might be vintage. <laughs> is it vintage? Look. Anybody seen anything like it? Anyway, come to my whatnot show. Even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out in the chat. Super fun. I'd love to see you guys. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.